All right, so guys, welcome back to uh, the first. No, actually, just welcome to the first video of Roblox Studio here. Um, so yeah, today I'm just gonna create be creating a new game, like a completely new one, uh, from the base of base plate, uh, because uh, the ones that I've created are pretty trash, and it pretty much just ruined all the codes in it. And yeah, we're gonna be starting from the legit, like the basics of the basics, because uh, just for the series purposes, uh. And I think um, it's also a good practice for me because the last time I did these coding was like two months ago. So yeah, I pretty much forgot about everything. So let's just start from the basic stuff. Let's go for the um, the real base plate over here since it's the most recent one. And I think uh, it's the tutorial is most compatible with this one. So yeah, I guess let's just do this thing. So I actually need the upcoming changes, bro. Nobody cares. All right, so let's uh, go through the first part of this website. Um, the link will be down inside the description box some somewhere there. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be doing the the first uh introduction to coding one. So let's get yeah, started with that one. Uh, okay. So let's see. So uh, in Studio, you learn how to create and manipulate parts in Roblox Studio. Yeah, of course. So all right. So we're gonna be again by uh creating this platform that will appear and disappear, and you can use this in a platforming game to spawn a gap, like in Tower of Hell and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, let's get this ready. So first off, we need a uh, part to act as a platform, making and moving its parts should be familiar to you from introduction to Roblox Studio. You need to need you need a complicated game. Uh, okay, so alright. So first off, we gotta insert a part and give it a name like a disappearing platform. Uh, and you guys to resize this. So it's big enough. Alright, so let's uh, go and make the platform real quick. So uh, let's see. I'll just add like a big block for like the the spawn point, I guess. So. Or we can make the spawn point really, really big, and we can just copy and paste that. Yeah. So uh, let's go and uh, make this thing huge, like legitimately huge. Uh, I don't have a mouse right now, which is kind of sad. But anyways, I think it should be able to work. Uh, if we just make it really large. Alright, let's bring it closer to us. Okay. Uh, let's do scale. Can we like scale it larger? Oh hell yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, this is like a uh, satanic. Uh, but anyways, let's just keep it like that. It looks pretty lit. And then um. I'm just gonna alt that I think wait how do you even do this like just control V oh, I sure then uh, let's just try that uh, and I don't think there's supposed to be two spawn locations so I'm pretty much just gonna uh, oh wait no this is legitimately a spawn location okay, okay so I can't really do that I'm gonna make another uh, block that's kind of annoying uh, okay so this is a pretty small block let's make it as big as the spawn point uh, maybe even bigger I'm not sure how to do that uh, okay yeah let's get that over here so a uh, uh, big platform uh, let, let's make at least the same height so the player can jump over it, uh, sort of. And let's move it over here. Uh, Alright, so let's go and play this. Uh, I want to see if it actually works. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to get really mad. Alright, so let's go and try this out. So, uh, yeah, uh, bacon character, very nice. Oh, that's lit. Just perfect. Let's go. Alright, uh, so that's going to be the two platforms. And let's uh, add in the disappearing thing. Uh, okay, so this is just gonna be renamed to like uh, uh final. So yeah, let's get that done. And then let's uh kind of pan around. Oh yeah, we can um like do this. How does this thing even work, bro? What's the point of this? We can't even do like use it. Bro, just get out of here. All right. So uh, let's go and add another part of block somewhere. Okay, right here. Let's go and add this thing. Uh, right there. I think it's right in the middle of it. Right. Uh, well, I hope so. Alright, so let's go with the uh, rename. Uh, let's rename this the uh, uh, disappearing stuff. Alright, just uh, do fade. Yeah, just yeah, just do fade away. It's fade. Alright, let's go and check out uh, the the tour here. So um, set the anchored property to true in the properties window. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. Oh wait, yeah, it's here. Um, so properties, uh, anchor. What the hell is anchor? Uh, we can just do this, right? Yeah. Um, and that's basically just anchored. Oh yeah. Uh. Let's just anchor everything else to make it uh stable. So, uh, all right, everything anchored. Let's go. All right, so let's go down. Uh, inserting a script. Code in Roblox is written in language called Lua. Of course, it is. And then, uh, all right, so let's go to this place. Uh, add a script. I think it's just from this button. Oh crap! Hold up. Yeah, just a, a script here. Let's go easy script. Print hello world. And uh, okay, so we we're gonna name the script disappear. Sheesh. Alright, so let's name it disappear. Uh, I think we just need it because the code has it. So yeah, just uh do that. 
then uh, name your scripted parts. The first variable is a good idea to start off with scripting uh, by making a variable for the platform. A variable is a name associated with the value. Once the variable is created, it can be used again. Uh, Alright. So uh, this works different to the other languages. So we gotta make uh, like local. Yeah, that's uh, stuff. So local and a variable name and then equals to variable value. Hold up. Let's just uh, copy and paste this real quick. So it's uh, yeah, like this. Uh, I think I'll just like add this in front of it. Kind of doesn't work. Oh, wait, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, I forgot how to actually add that thing in where like everything else can like be shaded, like be shaded. Uh, but yeah, anyways, this is how it should work. So, uh, they, they called it platform. So, yeah, I'll just copy the same thing. Uh, local platform equals a script dot parent, which is basically a uh, fade, uh, the block. So, there we go, script dot parent. Yo, that's pro. All right, script dot parent. And then uh, this is used to find the object the script is located in, which is just basically uh, the fade block. And then uh, names for variables are typically written in camel case. Uh, this is lowercase with every word following the first being capitalized. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. But I don't think we really need to learn that one anytime soon. All right, so let's do with the, uh, the functions. All right, so uh, to make a function is like the same thing, right? Uh, just local function. And then we have to add some other stuff within it. Local function disappear. Oh, uh, let's just say fade actually, because that's like four four letters and a lot easier. So let's do that. And then uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and there will also be an end. I think. Yeah, there we go. There's the end. And then uh, part properties. Uh, when the platform disappears, it needs to be made vis uh invisible to the players, and the players will have to fall through it. So yeah, you can't just destroy it because it needs to reappear later, which is kind of sad. So yeah, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, the transparency properties, like in the properties window over here. Yeah, uh, transparency and then, uh, where's the collision yet yeah, over here? I uh, can't collide and can't touch, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So uh, platform.collide equals to false. So basically, we're just stating that as... Uh, Oh, I right, said so this is basically just like the default um thing I think of uh, platform dot can collide that's like the collision I think uh equals to false wait that means the players would just fall through it um that's kind of sus platform dot transparency equals to one so the players can't see it or can they see it I'm not sure if it's one or zero hold up let's go and check. Alright, so it's meant to be um zero to begin with. So yeah, I guess this just uh makes the platform straight straight up just disappear. Uh so alright, now we're gonna call the function. So time to run the code and the function to test that it works. Once you've declared a function, you can run it by writing its name in the with parentheses next to it. Uh oh, so we just like uh and copy paste this thing, you know, the fade thing and uh drag it down here. Yeah, so this should call that function. Pretty simple, I guess. And then, all right. So let's uh press press play button. Hopefully, this works. I don't fail the like the first scripting tutorial. All right. Hey, so it works. So uh, it's not there anymore. Uh, rip, rip this character. And then, uh, okay, let's go back. So uh, you can easily make the platform reappear by writing a function which does the exact opposite of the disappear function. So we can. Uh, so first off, we delete this thing. Uh, give it a fade. And then we need to create a new function. So local uh function, what's that thing called again? So, uh, let's call it unfade so that it's actually more uh, slightly organized uh rather than disappear and and reappear stuff. So yeah, uh so basically it's just a a complete uh opposite of the fade. So we just uh, copy paste this thing and change that to like a uh, true and uh one uh, no uh two and zero yeah two and zero so we just do that uh wait true two and zero and that should work uh oh yeah so that's the end of that okay so let's get into loops now we'll go speed running this thing so loops guide uh let's see uh so okay while a uh, while loop so we basically just do a while true here so while true uh we need the wait no it's just do okay forgot oh, forgot all about these uh, coding stuff. All right, so uh, toggling the platform in the while loop, you need to write code to wait a few seconds between the platform dis disappearing and reappearing. So, okay, we, we can use a wait and then 
brackets and a number in it. So, uh, all right. So let's see. To do this, wait. Uh, so in the in the tutorial, set three. So I guess that's like the best time. So let's uh, do that first, and then uh, we can call the fade function, and then we wait again, like three again, and we can call the uh, unfade function, and that should be good to go. Yeah, okay, so now it's just complete. So that was simple. Uh, let's go and try this out. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, uh, then you just gotta, uh, <laughs> yeah, just gotta rage quit then. All right, so let's see. Uh, probably doesn't even work. Oh, it works. No way. What the heck? All right, so it actually disappears and reappears. Well, I guess. Uh, all right, nice. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's basically the basic stuff here, like the three basic courses. Now let's make the deadly lava since this um, pretty much took no time at all. So let's see, um, you learn how to make changes in a game in a loop over time. So what if you want to make changes based on a uh, on a player behavior? Uh, so we can make a deadly lava. So then uh, this bacon right here is just going to die every single time I play. All right, so let's see. Uh, setting up, uh, you need to place your game in the world to put deadly lava. If you follow the introduction to coding course, the lava will be nicely fit in the gap cover by the disappearing platforms. Uh, we can actually, I think, um, if I remember right turn the entire base plate into lava i think we can do that um let's uh, keep on reading so make the floor look more like lava by setting the material to neon so uh, yeah let's make the base plate into neon by itself so uh, let's see uh oh shoot well, let's make it red i think that's what the tutorial is supposed to be like red over here and then uh plastic turn that into neon so it looks kind of lit yeah, there you go. That oh, okay. And never mind. That doesn't even look cool. That just looks like a two D game. But uh, let's try and make a force field. No, nah, same thing. Sand, plastic, uh, pebble. Bro, this is the same thing. Metal. Uh, this is kind of like lava, but I guess uh, ice. Yo, ice looks lit. Yo, uh, let's just stick with ice then. Uh, and then, all right, we gotta insert a script. Uh, let's rename this to like lava instead. Uh, so we don't get confused with stuff. Lava, and then we also gotta add a script according to the tutorial over here. And we're supposed to name it Kill Player. So uh, let's name, re rename it Kill Player uh, real quick here. All right, so Kill Player. And I remove the default code and uh, create a variable for Lava. Okay, so we just do the same thing. Uh, local Lava, I guess. Uh, wait, hold on. Kill player script. Oh no, this is the. This must be lava. Hold on. I renamed the wrong thing. Uh, lava here, and the script should be kill player. And I think we can get rid of the texture. It's just like the the grid thing, which is kind of annoying. So local lava uh, equals to script dot parents. I think yeah. That's what I do it. Uh, I mean, I think. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's just keep this uh, to lowercase. Uh, okay. All right. So now we gotta create the function like we did before. Local function. Uh, they named it kill player. Okay. So I'll just need. I just do the same, I guess. So local function kill player, and then we just go with the end, and then uh oh, and then uh this is what they have here. I don't remember seeing this, but I think it's the same thing. Uh, this hold on. Lava dot touch. Uh colon connect kill player uh so this has to be caps because yeah yeah these are the same thing so this page just calls the function when this thing is touched which is uh pretty nice it uh, saves a lot of coding uh, if you don't add this thing so that's pretty nice all right so to kill the player the function will need an object associated with that player and a parts touch event uh, can provide the other part that touched it but only if you request it by making a parameter all right, so this is the part that I don't even understand a single bit. Like, I'm not sure what a parameter like really does or what it really means. But here's the definition. Uh, I'll just paste it into the game. Uh, cause why not? So that uh oh wow. Let's see. All right, so the parameters are functions that of uh are definitions of what a function expects to receive when it's called a pair. A parameter can be used in a function just like any other variable, and you can pass information to a parameter by including it in the parentheses when a function is called. So, so we just add stuff in here. Like, I'm not sure what was added in there. Uh, sure, I guess. Even though I didn't understand a single word there, but I guess we just put stuff in there. So, 
yeah, let's just get straight on to it. So we got to create a param parameter called uh, other part uh, for the kill player function. All right, so let's uh, name it here. Uh, the other part here. Other part. Wait, no, uh, there's no space. Hold up. Yeah, just like that. And yeah, somehow the piece caps anyways. Uh, so when the, the kill player function is called, the, the other part parameter will represent the part that touched the lava floor and the code you'll write in the function will, will be able to use it. Uh, so basically, we want uh, parameter functions when it's called a parameter can be used to pass information to parameter by including it in parentheses. So we're searching for this, and if that is touched, we kill player. I'm not sure how this works, but I think that's how it works. Because the, cause the code works, so yeah. Alright, so now we're going to uh, get on to killing the player. So uh, the individual body parts of a player, uh, such as the heads, limbs, and torso, uh, any clothing and accessories worn by a player, and then the, the humanoid, uh, that's really important, is a, is a special object which contains many properties re related to the player, Including the player's health, uh, so we can basically just uh, turn the player's health into like zero. I think that that that's how we're supposed to kill it. Alright, so let's see. Uh, local part parent. Uh, oh, what is that? Local part local. Uh, equals to other part dot parent. So this is just basically the player. Uh, I think so. Okay, so we'll just create a new variable inside inside the function, and which is going to be the player that touches the lava, which is going to die. And then, let's see. So from the character model, you need to get humanoid object in order to kill the player. This can be done with the first fi uh, find first child function. Just pass it through the name of the thing you're looking for, and it will provide the first matching child that finds in that object. So, alright, so here we go. Uh, we make the variable uh, uh, local humanoid, which is going to be the player here. I used to uh part parent, which is just going to be the player, part parent. Uh oh, find first child. Uh, first child, and then we're gonna add this humanoid. I'm not sure why they actually need the thing in the parentheses, but I guess they you just need it because yeah, I have um all right. We also need to cap this H for some reasons. All right, so that's uh basically this part of the code. And then we got track the humanoids. So there are a variety of operators that can be used to build more complex conditions. Uh, okay, so let's see. All right, so now we're gonna make an if statement down here. So we can do if uh, what's that thing? If humanoid, which is that, which is this this variable over here. I think this variable means um the player, and then you find the first shot of the player, some something like that, and then you're supposed to find humanoid. Uh, I'm not sure what what that really means because I don't really. Uh, how do we learn that? Wait, uh, let's go back and actually check that thing out. So, you need to, uh, get the humanoid object in order to kill the player. So, we're finding the humanoid object to kill the player. Uh, alright then, I think that's just what humanoid is. So, uh, if humanoid equals to part parents, uh, five first child humanoid, and then we can do if humanoid then. So, so apparently humanoid is a condition. <laughs> okay. Uh, was ended. Yeah, there's the end. Um, actually, so in Lua, any value other than false or nil in empty value is evaluated as true in a c conditional statement. Okay, so this is basically just true then. If if thing if this thing is true, then something something. Uh, wait. Oh crap! Wait. If you yeah, there we go. Alright, so sending character health, uh, if humanoid, then humanoid health equals to zero. So this is where we just kill the player. Uh, we just set it to uh, humanoid.health. So uh, humanoid is like a file where it stores like the player's um, data, I guess. And then you can basically just uh, steal that data and then change the health to zero and you just kill the player. So that's pro. And then, uh, alright, so that's it. Oh, so that's it. So uh, if I'm... Uh, if I have some skill, I think this should work. Uh, cause I, cause I just copied what the the website did, so I think this should work one hundred percent. All right, let's go and try this. Uh, let's go and jump on this block and yo, let's go, man. I'm such a legend. Let's go. Okay, so I actually managed to do this. Um, some pro gamer moves, and this guy's just gonna die cause he sucks. Uh, cause yeah. 
uh, this guy's a noob. Alright, so let's go and maybe change up the lava a little bit. Like, ice doesn't really seem so threatening. Uh, I think you should be able to add some, like, uh, flames, I think, to it. Or, like, some special effects. I forgot how you, how you actually add those in, because, like, I, I did those, like, years ago, so <laughs> I'm not sure, even sure how you can do that. Wait, I think you just add, like, uh, um, service you want, no. You add, like, uh, uh, what's that, screen G? No. Oh, yeah, um, particle, yeah, fire, fire, fire. Does that work? <laughs> heat? Oh, can you raise the heat? 100? Well, 25 is the max. Uh, oh, oh, size, 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 we can turn that to, like, 30, but where's the fire, there is no fire, yo, this thing is sussy, alright, um, wait, let's try this on the fade, I mean, on the spawn location, does that work, oh, it doesn't work, how about on the final, oh, wait, I just messed up real bad, a fire on the fade block, disappear, on the final block. Alright, let's go try this thing out. Enabled. Alright, that looks uh, cringe as heck. Uh, so let's put that on lava, see if that works. Alright, uh, apparently that's as, that's as big as a fire will go. That's kind of cringe, bro. Alright, so that's uh, sussy. Alright, so that, yeah, so th these are like the special effects. Uh, let's go and add some more uh, useful stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, spring on street. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here, bro. That's lit. Alright, let's see. Uh, texture, proximity. Oh, animation. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I'm gonna learn that real soon. Let's see. Uh, smoke. How does the smoke work? Uh, wait. Opacity, like one. Oh, uh, one's like the maximum. Uh, let's change color to like uh something like black, I guess. Where is the damn smoke, bro? There is no damn smoke. <laughs> what is this? Uh, so, oh, yeah, size is like 100. Oh, sheesh, this looks bad. All right, uh, let's, uh, um, okay, 100 is the maximum set. 25 rise velocity. Oh, damn, bro. This does not look lit. All right, uh, time scale. What is this? Who, who even cares, bro? 100. Alright, this looks like a uh, nice horror game. Let's go. Alright, so uh, guys, this is my horror game right here. Uh, feel free to play it. Uh, it's a very nice horror game. You see this? Uh, the, the smoke comes over you and then you just die because you, he, he, yeah, he jumped out here and then you die. So, yeah. Uh, this is um, the very nice horror game. Uh, wait, how can I limit the player zoom? I think it's like the, uh, something to do inside like the player itself. I think, uh, I'll just learn it later, um, but anyways, this is like a really good horror game, see this, uh, you know, uh, there's a smoke everywhere, and it's very pro gamer, see this thing, it's totally black, dude, can't see anything, so yeah, and then, uh, once you can't see anything, you just, uh, die, so yeah, um, bootleg horror game, very nice one, alright, so, uh, yeah, how to stop playing with the smoke, <laughs> I'm not even sure why that's, um, uh, even funny, Alright, so, uh, n next course, we're gonna learn about a fading trap, so, uh, in Deadly Lava, you learn how to trigger code based on your player's behavior, so, uh, let's see, so insert a part and move it into your place in the, in your game we're called a fading platform, uh, oh, okay, so I guess we just basically add another platform then, uh, I'll probably just get rid of the smoke, it's actually kind of sussy, or oh, I can change the size down to, like, one or something. Yeah, okay, uh, that, that helps a lot. Alright, so let's turn this fade block into, like, uh, the, the new, um, fading and, uh, unfading block, I guess. Alright, so let's, uh, move this thing around. Um, yeah, this, uh, base plate thing, move that thing around. Let's, uh, turn this thing to, uh, a large platform, I guess, like that. Alright, so that should work. Alright, uh, it's also already hankered so that's nice uh so that's the a fading platform a fatal touch uh, we can basically just like use the same uh code i guess i'll just get rid of the this code yeah let's get rid of that all right so uh but we still gotta add in the local uh 
platform. Okay, local platform equals to script dot parent, and we're gonna make a new function. Local function is gonna be a uh, fade. Oh, so this time is real fade, and then uh yeah, the platform touched connecting. I'll just paste it in here because I'm not gonna type that in. Let's go. All right, so. Uh, so now, now we're going to be using for loops, uh, for loop which, which repeats a code for a specific number of times. Each loop of the code is known as a iteration. Uh, a, a, a for loop is defined with three things, uh, separated by commas. So a control variable and then a step. Uh, let's go and copy and paste that in. So that's going to be this thing. So th this is going to be the count. And then uh, the other one is going to be uh, the end. Uh, the step should be like over here, right? Like, you know, like one, I guess. But I guess like the the default step is one, so I don't really think we need that. I'll just get rid of it uh, anyway, since, since we don't need it. So uh, uh, we basically have this. And then uh, after for loop, is it's gonna give us an end. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so call uh, the wait function. Uh, with a time of 0 0.1. All right, so we can just do a platform uh, dot transparency equals to um, count divided by 10. I'm not sure why it divided by 10 though, uh, but that's from the code, so I think it should work. I, I'll probably just customize it later on because you don't need that. So wait uh, 0 0.1. Um, all right, let's see if this actually works real quick. Wait. Uh, let's add a wait to the beginning, so the so this thing won't happen while we are still spawning in the game. So like, uh, wait five seconds. Alright. So, oh wait, no, this just happens once it's touched, right? Oh, okay. Actually, nah. Let's just uh, play this thing right here. I think it should work. Uh, like it just slowly fades away. Alright. So let's uh, see this. Check it out real quick. Oh. Alright. Never mind. I was going to uh, change this up a little bit. Not close enough. Alright, that's uh, that's annoying. Right, let's go uh, play again. Hopefully this works this time. What the heck? Oh, uh, I was playing play here. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's uh, play, yeah. Play so we spawn on top of the spawn point. Alright, let's go. Oh, it actually works. No way. That that's real lit. All right. Uh, or I can uh wait. I think this should work. Um, uh, let's let's go back to this code. Uh, equals to platform equals to uh platform. Uh, okay. I think we should. I think this should work, right? Uh, minus one. Cause like it's just minus one value or like minus zero point five. I don't know. Uh, that takes. Oh no. Uh, zero point zero one. Zero point one. I think zero point one should work. Like it's just gonna fade in one second. Or I can do uh zero point zero five. Zero. Yeah. Let's try zero point zero five actually. Cause the uh, wait time is zero point one. So I don't think it should take too long to fade away. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's see if it fades at all, because I'm not really co confident with this code. Uh, let's check this out. All right, so it doesn't even fade at all, because uh, there's something wrong with this thing. All right, so I think we're just going to stick with the um, count divided by 10. Because, uh, yeah, there's going to be a one, 1 to 10, so um, for count... One time, right? Oh, okay. All right, so I think we, we we should just stick with that for now. I think. All right, so uh, let's make it reappear here. So it's basically just the same thing, right? Yeah, it's just the same thing, but we just add something after the for count thing. So uh, platform dot can collide. Uh, should be false because uh the the platform has faded away, so the player should fall now, and we got a uh, wait three. So we can wait three, uh, three seconds, and then we're gonna make it reappear. So I'm uh, gonna just do this thing again, and then uh, make it 
transverse equals to uh, zero. Yeah, zero. And I think that should make it reappear. So uh, let's see if, that's, uh, if this works. All right, that's lit because it actually uh, reappeared. So that's lit. All right, so that's the beginning here. Okay, now let's look at deep bouncing. Uh, so debouncing uh, in the lava of course you need to uh, touch the vent that runs it. okay so the to debounce a function a boolean value can be used to keep track of when the platform is really being touched boolean just means that only value can uh, contain a true and false oh so basically if the player touches the platform for the first time ensuring that the action is only triggered once when it would otherwise be triggered multiple times oh okay so this was just um Preventing the code from freezing the game, I guess. So let's see. Uh, we gotta create a entirely new variable. Uh, local is touched. I think that's uh who, what they call it. Uh, so that's a uh, false. And then uh we can oh so we gotta uh put in a, a if inside the function here. If not is touched equals to uh wait. Then, well, so, uh, if this touch is false, uh, well, no, if this is true, because it's not false, so that's true, right? I, <laughs> something like that. So, um, oh, this is called a negate operator. So, uh, the Lua not operator reverses the value of whatever follows it in conditional terms. This means that if the statement on the left behaves the same as either statement on the right. So, uh, if not is touched, then that's basically if touch equals to false. All right, so there. Uh, so yeah, I think that should work. And uh, I think after we run the code, this should um, turn true. I think it should. Uh, wait, why does this keep on moving forward? That's kind of weird. What the heck? Anyways, um, probably, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if it will um, really stop the code from working. Pretty sure it will not. All right, so let's go. Uh, it's touching false. Yeah, false here. Um, because the code is finished, and then, and here we can turn that into true. So, uh, is touch equals to true. There we go. All right, so that's basically it. All right, it's uh, kind of interesting. Let's go and try that now. Oh, that's big sus, dude. That's big sus. Is all right. I think. Um, all right. Let's go and check the code real quick. So, uh, let's see this. I'll just uh paste the entire code over here, like from the website, so we can see what what went wrong here. So let's go and check that out real quick. All right. So this is the code over there. Local function fade. Uh, is not. If not is touched, then is touched equals to true. For count one to ten, the platform dot transparency equals to count uh platform weight three equals to false. Connect fade. Oh, okay, so is that the problem, bro? <laughs> just is that it? I think that's it, cause there's nothing wrong in here. I basically just copied their entire code, so 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 it can't possibly be wrong. Right, so, uh, I think we should try it again. Probably because of the the indent. Wait, what? It's touched equals to false. How? Why is this thing highlighted? Uh, oh, I've got an end, right? Yeah, end should be around here. So I think this should work now. I think it should. Yeah, uh, let's give this thing a try. Alright, this thing doesn't even goddamn it work. Alright, so uh this is where coding starts to become kind of sussy now. So local is touched, um equals to false. Oh bro. Wait, so let's actually paste the entire code in here because uh I wanna make sure that I'm not missing on anything at all. Connect 
used to fade. All right, so this is like the the entire code here. Let's go and check that out. Damn, bro. Oh, I just copy pasted the entire website. What the heck? <laughs> All right, uh, that's not nice. Uh, how can I paste the entire code? That that's kind of check this out. All right, so I, I got the whole code in here. All right, so local platform script out parent. Uh, yeah, it is right. Script out parent. This touch was the false local function. Uh, fade got the fade up there. Is touched. Oh, oh wait, that's being here. Oh, that's so sus. Oh, and I forgot to indent everything. Okay, that's. <laughs> oh yeah, cause it's an if, so I gotta indent everything in there, and then the. And it's here, so I think the rest is just there. Yeah, the rest can just be there and like uh, being chilling. So yeah, that's basically the end of this code. Uh, should this work again? I'm not sure. I count. Will I try uh divide by one hundred to see how that works out? That's uh gonna be lit. Let's go. Actually, the code just broke. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, th that just doesn't make sense. Okay, uh, how does change this back? Uh, F oh, wait, no, let's end this thing here. I think that's what it's meant to do. And then the end should follow everything. So, so everything should follow the end. Is that what it is? Bro, this is where the pain starts to begin, man. It's not even the finish. <laughs> like, this is the basic stuff, then. All right. Let's give this thing a try real quick. Uh, very pro. Uh, does it work now? Damn, it doesn't even work, bro. What the heck's going on here? Alright, so, at least the lava works, but anyways. Uh, let's go and check again. Local script up here. Local is touched equals to false. Uh, local function fade if it's not shown, it's not yeah, it's touched with true. Uh, for count one, two. don't need to add the step, but the code didn't add the step, so I don't think I need to add the step at all. Wait, zero point one, and the platform collide. False. All right, it's false. Oh no, this should be true. What the heck? How can I choose? Yeah, but it doesn't even become false. That's the problem. It just uh, so it doesn't even go through this thing. It's kind of sus. Uh, which means that, oh, because I didn't even call the thing. Bro, what the heck? I didn't even call the function to begin with. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I forgot the last part. <laughs> Alright, so, I, yeah, now this has to work, man. If this thing doesn't work, then I'm just going to quit studio, man. W what the heck's going on here? I have no idea, because basically, it's just the same code as the, the website, right? Hey, there it goes, finally. This, uh, this code just worked. Alright. So they did count divided by 10, meaning that a count equals to 1, 1 divided by 10, 2 divided by 10, 10 divided by 10, so that's going to be, so that's going to slowly become 1. Uh, oh, so what if I did uh, for, oh, all right. Would that work? I mean, uh, uh, add count. How about, uh, wait, wait, so, uh, the, the transparency is, like, at zero right now. So, we're gonna add count, so, uh, for, oh, I don't know how to do this thing, though. Um, for, but adding count divided by ten is just the same thing. Oh, it's just, uh, that's, that's cringe, bro, that's cringe. I would just, like, minus stuff but every single time we minus stuff like it just gets reset it so 
it's just not even there. Wait, uh, but okay, so this should work, and even if the the platform doesn't fade away or become transparent, it should still uh the player should still be able to fall through it. So let's uh give this a try. Hold on, yeah, let's try this thing. If that code doesn't work, the player should still fall, which could make a pretty nice troll game. Uh, that would be lit. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Alright, so, uh, apparently that doesn't work, um, by mi minus 0 0.1, cause, cause I think the problem is that this thing won't stack at all. Like, this thing won't stack. So, platform, oh, that person needs to have... Hey, but if it's used to, uh, itself minus 0 0.1, then it should stack, right? Oh no, it's add 0 0.1 because the base is zero. What the heck? Oh, come on. I'm, I'm losing brain cells right now, bro. All right. Uh, let's go back and check this thing again. Hopefully it works. I think it should. Oh, there we go. Finally, it works. All right, fading platform uh, worked in a uh, very nice game. Uh, so currently, this game's going to be over here, uh, free to play. Really nice. Uh, I'm going to add back the smoke because that's kind of lit. You know, a uh, basic horror game, very nice horror game actually. Let's make the opacity like ten. Oh no, one's like the maximum. Uh, it's the size. Yeah, size one hundred. Yeah, there we go. Big damn smoke coming out over here. Uh, let's go and uh, copy paste that thing real quick. You know, double the smoke. Smoke over here. Smoke everywhere. And uh, you know, um, good luck um doing this game. What? All right, wh why can't I copy it? Oh, finally, let's go. Uh, so. If Fade on the lava final and fade on the fade block. I mean, a smoke on a fade block. All right, let's go. Uh, this is the pro uh, horror game. So y'all can go uh, give this game a try real quick. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to publish this thing to Roblox as a, a damn game. Oh, uh, yeah, my games. Yeah, just my games. My games? What the heck? Dude, my games? What, what do you mean? Pu oh, come on. Publish as my game. Yeah, of course my games. Wait. What's going on at the bottom? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, create new game. Alright, so this name's gonna be uh this game's gonna be the horror horror I'll be yep a very scary rage quit um uh very uh <laughs> jump scare yes very jump scare death uh right I just stopped there. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this game, very scary. 99% people will fail. Good luck, noob. Yes. Alright, so the creator is going gonna, gonna to be me. Uh, Jenner is going to be a uh, comedy, because why not? Computer console, nah, um, <laughs> console. Imagine being a console. Um, yep, kind of sad. Alright, so let's go create this game. Oh, there you go. Uh, horror, Aubrey, very scary, rage quit, jump scare, death. Very nice. Uh, Alright, uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'm going to play around with the special effects. Cause, cause it, yeah, the smoke be lit. Alright, so let's go and play this game Um, real quick, actually, to see if it's actually completable. Uh, apparently, it doesn't even, like, oh, uh, <laughs> like the smoke built up, but... So basically, it just ruins the entire uh scary like thing. So yeah, not very convenient, I think. How do I make the time to like zero? Oh, so I think that's why I have to add the like the time scale to like zero. Is that it? So I can like basically make the smoke just be there when the player when the player just spawns right in. So do I like just do this? And I just play. So then the smoke would just be there permanently. Oh, um, the game just died. <laughs> Alright, that's uh, that's some real sussy right there. So I guess it just takes longer to load then. If you want. Wait, what? The, dude, there's no smoke at all. What the heck? Oh, damn. Alright, that's just dumb. I guess uh, it's not about time scale. Uh, it's about how do I rise velocity will be one times gonna be one. Oh yeah, one. Could watch a zero. If it's zero, they won't they won't damn appear. What the heck am I doing, bro? This is so saucy. All right, uh, this has to work, man. This has to work. Uh, I I've spent like a uh, six and hours on this game.
Uh, I mean, it is faster. I'll give that to it. It's faster, but uh, <laughs> not fast enough, I guess. You know, play can still jump over this, and they die. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, you know, it suits the horror game because, you know, you die in a dark place and you can't even do anything about it because you're noob. So, yeah, see this? Oh, bro. All right. Uh, wait, wait, let's go back again. Let's see. You know, uh, very trustworthy platform. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just feeling at this dumb game. Hold up. You know, very trustworthy and you just die. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, simple game. Uh... Even though there's no jump scare, I'll, I'll probably try and add one next time. Uh, every time you die, you just get jump scared, and then add them with the max volume up. So yeah, I mean, I think that's about it for today. So I'll just save this game to Roblox, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.